Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and use SSH on the iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, so first what you want to do is get your iPod Touch or iPhone. Right, there we go. Turn it on. Um, you want to go to Cydia. Until it loads, um, you can use Icy or whatever it is from Installer or Cydia. Um, much quicker. Um, but I'm just gonna use Cydia because most people do have Cydia. So what you wanna do is go search and search open. I'll just search it. You don't mind. Think open S S H no space, and it will be the first one up there. Um, so click that, Mod one says modify, you want to click install, you can read about it, whatever else, um, once you've done that, um, if you don't know your, you need your IP address, um, for your Wi-Fi, so what you want to do, go settings, you want to go general, no, no, no. Wi-Fi. Wi you want to know Wi-Fi? Then you want to go your internet. You want to click the little arrow. And then um, your IP address will be there. I think, yeah, the top one. Oh, my finger. Oh, well, yeah. There's a number there. Sorry, my finger was in the way. But, yeah. um, yours will be different to mine anyway. Um, then you want to... You just want to put your upper touch down. So just put it to sleep. Let's get out of this. And what you want to do? I um, check out my um, check out my um, YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing this one again. I actually did it as you can see. Um, but it didn't work. You could only watch in HQ. So I'll probably leave that one on. But um. And then you want to set Cyberduck. Cyberduck in Google. I'll put the URL in the um, description, but if you want to do it right now, just um, easily. And over here, just click on that or the little, the little picture. Um, download it. Pretty simple. Just want to get out of that right now. So once you have it, you want to go and put it in applications, just then it stays there. Be a little duck, I'm going to open that up. Um, now if, if you don't know what SSH is, it's just basically um, like sending things between two machines and the iPod Touch iPhone is a machine basically. So what you want to do, type in your IP address, I'm not going to type in my proper one because I can't be bothered getting it. And then the username is, um, will be on the um, description, we're typing root. And then for password, you want to alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E, alpine. Uh, don't ask me why, I have no idea why port you want to have to make sure it's number 22 and then it will not work um, and the drop down menu make sure it's SFTP for the SSH oh, I'll just zoom in on that there the SSH file transport protocol really simple um, once you've typed in all that click connect and all your there'll be two files um, I think media and library um, what you want to do is click that a couple of times. Yeah, mine came up. If yours does come up like this, just click try again. Um, and eventually, if it does not work, um, then you might want to change something. Anyway, you want to click that a couple of times if it's got the two um, library thing. And then it will come up with all everything, your applications, media, whatever. Um, and just to make sure, you have to have your iPod, iPhone on the home menu or it will not work. Um, 
And another thing, if you don't know how to set your auto lock to never, what you want to do is go like this. Turn it on. Anywhere your settings. No, no, no. Settings. It will be in the video description. I'm done, basically, so just do whatever you want now. General. Auto lock. Mine's already on never, but you have to make sure yours is on never. Or then, um, it, um, it will lock up and may stuff up your system because you're sending stuff to it and it will just stuff up. If you know what I mean? Um... Thanks for watching. If you need any more help with anything to do with iPod touches or iPhones, just ask. Um, I'll make a video on it as soon as possible. Um, thank oh, and you can donate to Cyberduck. I haven't, but um, I probably will because it's such a good program. Um, yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Um, Thanks for watching. Hope